In the world of financial wisdom, a groundbreaking strategy has emerged known as the Halls Method. This five-step plan is a beacon of hope designed to amplify our gains and pave the way to financial prosperity. Before we unveil the essence of the Halls Method, let's confront the elephant in the room. Why should we even participate in a bull market in 2024? Let's imagine the economic situation in 2024, where things are looking really good. However, there was a problem caused by the Federal Reserve, the Central Bank of the United States, trying to control inflation by increasing interest rates. This ended up causing a bear market, which means a period of falling stock prices and economic decline. Many banks struggled and failed because of this. It's hard to believe that the Federal Reserve can continue on this risky path. The pressure they are facing will eventually make them stop or else it could lead to another global financial crisis. When they ease up on their control, a bull market, a period of rising stock prices and economic growth, will likely come back and be successful. Now let's talk about the Halls Method. This is a new approach that has been developed based on past mistakes and valuable experience. Its goal is to save you time and protect you from repeating the same errors that were made in the past. Firstly, in April 2024, there will be an event called the Bitcoin halving. This event is highly anticipated and is expected to cause a big rise in the price of Bitcoin, which is the most popular cryptocurrency. As Bitcoin increases in value due to the halving, it will have a positive impact on the entire crypto market. Just like when the tide rises, all the ships in the water rise too. The surge in Bitcoin's value will have a ripple effect on the entire crypto ecosystem. But that's not all. Our third reason for expecting a great bull market in 2024 is the impressive progress of crypto infrastructure. There is now various Layer 2 networks emerging, which promise low fees and very fast transaction speeds. This is a dream come true for us as end users. Additionally, decentralized finance DeFi projects have matured to a point where they can handle the workload that was previously handled only by centralized platforms. The platforms that survive and thrive will be battle-tested and ready to overcome any challenges that come their way. Let's start with the foundational principle, H for hold blue chip coins. Allocate 50% of your portfolio to acquiring and holding blue chip coins like Bitcoin and Ethereum. Why should you do this? These established assets have significant potential, with Bitcoin expected to reach six-figure values and Ethereum soaring to five-figure values in the upcoming bull market. Their lower risk profile means you can hold them for the long term without the fear of losing everything. It's essential to integrate these assets into your portfolio because they promise solid gains, even if they may not offer the extremely high returns of some alternative coins. Now, executing this part of the strategy requires a well-calibrated approach. Allocate one-third of the 50% allocation to buying Bitcoin and Ethereum outright if you don't already have them. With the remaining portion, use dollar cost averaging on a weekly basis. This means investing a fixed amount regularly, regardless of the current price. You can use automated services or bots to help you maintain this disciplined approach and ease the burden of managing it yourself. Now, there is an important question, should we simply hold our assets indefinitely? While that might seem like an attractive option, we can be a bit smarter and use data to our advantage. Our goal is to accumulate wealth in the upcoming bull market, not in the distant future. Introducing the Mayer Multiple, a key metric that can act as our guide in navigating the market. This simple rule helps us decide when to continue dollar cost averaging and when to start taking profits. The Mayer multiple is calculated by dividing Bitcoin's current price by its 200-day moving average price. In the past, when the Mayer multiple rose above 2.4, it signaled an overextended period and a favorable time to sell. However, considering Bitcoin's maturation and reduced volatility in its cycles, we can adjust our threshold to 2.0, striking a balance between caution and capitalizing on market dynamics. Therefore, we keep dollar cost averaging as long as the Mayer multiple remains below 2.0. But once it surpasses this threshold, we start taking profits. Now, let's take a look at the crucial aspect, the A in the Halls method. 
which represents airdrops. Imagine this. Airdrops are like golden opportunities, showering us with free money that we can use wisely elsewhere. Over the years, we have seen numerous airdrops rewarding individuals with significant sums of crypto, ranging from four to even five figures, simply for trying out the associated products. This is an important part of our strategy that everyone should embrace. But what to do with those tempting airdrop tokens? The burning question is, should we sell them immediately or hold on to them for potentially greater gains? There is a research study that suggests selling airdrop tokens immediately generates more profit on average. However, let's not rush to judgment, as that study was conducted during a bear market. Our strategy is tailored for the bullish times ahead. Now, let's talk about an alternative approach. In our quest for optimal gains, we propose selling 40% to 60% of your airdrop tokens immediately, while keeping the remaining portion as a moon bag. The percentage to sell depends on the overall market sentiment. If the market seems bearish, lean towards selling closer to 60%. On the other hand, if the market feels bullish, consider selling closer to 40%. By striking this delicate balance, we can take advantage of immediate profits while still retaining the potential for future gains. So, what should we do with the cherished moon bag? Holding it indefinitely through a bear market is not our intention. Estimate a realistic market cap for the project by comparing it to similar projects in its niche and industry giants like Bitcoin and Ethereum. Make sure your estimate is grounded in reason. Once you've established this, set up various price levels from the current price to the peak market cap price. At each level, determine a percentage of your moon bag to sell. By the time the price reaches its peak, you should have sold 90% or more of your moon bag. This prudent strategy protects us from being left with worthless tokens when the market inevitably changes. With the H for hold blue chip coins and the A for airdrops in place, it's time to unleash the power of the L, the leverage. Only 10% of our capital is allocated to this endeavor. Yes, my friends, it's a modest allocation because we are well aware of the risks associated with leverage and the possibility of liquidation. This portion is reserved for our bold moves into leveraged long positions during the bull market. By drawing inspiration from Bitcoin's price action in previous bull markets, we observed that average pullbacks or corrections ranged around 22%, with the most significant dip reaching 31%. Even if we engage in three times leveraged longing at the regional market peak, we would not face liquidation. This calculated approach allows us to experiment with leverage while mitigating potential risks. When entering your first leveraged position, we urge you to exercise patience and wait for the first 15 to 20% correction in the market. By doing so, we position ourselves strategically and take advantage of favorable moments. It is important to limit leverage to no more than two to three times, maintaining a balanced approach that mitigates excessive risk. Remember, our focus should be on established cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum as their robust nature makes them less susceptible to manipulation. Now we come to a crucial element, the D in the Halls method, dry powder. Imagine allocating 20% of your portfolio as a reserve, ready to be deployed during emergencies or unforeseen circumstances. This may be the most vital component of our strategy. There will be countless times when you wish you had additional capital to seize extraordinary buy-the-dip opportunities or explore new and promising projects in the market. The accumulation phase may last longer than expected, making dry powder indispensable, and you will be grateful for this strategic reserve. It's natural for us to become overly bullish and deploy our resources prematurely, but fear not, for dry powder acts as our shield providing the wisdom to navigate the market with prudence and resilience. And now we approach the pinnacle, the swing trade, the altcoin gems that await our skilled hands. The S in the Halls method calls us to unleash our trading prowess. 
Seize the fleeting opportunities presented by these hidden gems, ensuring that our gains reach extraordinary heights. It's time to allocate 20% of our capital for concentrated bets on altcoins. The key to unlocking potential gains of 10 times or even 100 times. However, we must approach this endeavor with caution and precision rather than blindly relying on luck. Limit the number of altcoins in your portfolio to a manageable range of 5 to 10. Spreading ourselves too thin with over 20 coins dilutes our focus and reduces our ability to grasp the true potential of each investment. Ideally, conduct a thorough fundamental analysis before making your selection. Factors such as evaluating the project, assessing the team behind it, and considering their competitive advantage should guide your decision-making. Of course, there are instances, such as meme coins, where fundamental analysis may take a back seat. However, even in those cases, it's crucial to have a well-thought-out thesis and avoid being driven solely by FOMO, the fear of missing out. Once you have made your selection, start accumulating these altcoins using the powerful strategy of dollar cost averaging. However, be observant and recognize significant movements in the market. When your altcoins deliver substantial gains, typically around three to five times your initial investment, it's time to adjust your approach. Take profits and consider rotating these gains into new positions or other promising coins.